Hi everyone, this is Lynn for Lindy Stamp Gang. Today I just want to share with you my one of my projects for Lindy's, of course. Uh, it is a layout of my grandson Mason. He's such a cutie and I love this picture of him. It was taken by my oldest son who happens to be a photographer. And obviously I love it for two different reasons. Um, basically what I'm here to show you today is how to achieve the texture on your chipboard pieces with embossing powder and um, starburst mists but let's talk about the background for a little bit first and then I'll show you how to do that I had some paper in my stash from Cartabella this is from the so noted collection it is the background piece it's uh, called Dear Jane I started off by um, using a stencil and some golden molding paste mixed with the Curiouser Chartreuse from the Mad Hatter collection as well I mixed another batch with the blue Hawaiian blue um, and spread it through my stencil and I really wasn't too worried about how I did it I have the blue mixed in with the green and some green in spots um, a lot of it is covered up but you can see some of the blues here and here and of course the green once I was done um, with the molding paste and I let it dry then I set about misting my background piece and I started off with really only two colors uh, one of which was the starburst mist in the wake me up before you go gold I love this color it's such a beautiful color and the next color that I used was again from the Mad Hatter collection the Mad Hatter mint which if you can see it's well you can't see too well but it's pretty much all gone and then I decided it needed a little bit more especially since I wanted to add some blue into it so I pulled out the flat Fabio in the Tweedledee denim and I did spray it in spots and let my drips happen wherever they happened as well as just splattered some of the mist on um, once that was dry I took out another stencil um, and unfortunately I don't remember which company it's from and some black gesso and I just went through the stencil in various different spots just to give it a little bit more to bring the black into it from the black and white picture then I took out a doily that I had in my stash bits and pieces here as well as some more bits and pieces of paper scraps that I had fussy cut around the doilies adhered those down and then matted my picture and put it right down now the flowers that you see and the leaves here are all from one piece of paper that was fussy cut and that is an older piece again from my mind's eyes from the bloom and grow collection and is called bloom along with that a few different pieces here and there from pink paisley and unfortunately i don't know which uh collection that is from but the colors went well together so i just went ahead and layered everything down on my flowers I did very little misting um, this here is a recollections flower and I misted that with the Tweedledee denim um, this one is as is again recollections the um, this particular flower here the ones that are misted with the Cape Coral are from Petaloo and the little tiny little ones here are from Prima and I did miss those but the name escapes me as to what the color is that I used um, that's pretty much all of what I want to talk to you about with the exception of that I am going to show you in the next few minutes how to go about achieving texture on your chipboard and we're going to do that using embossing powder and in this particular case I use um, hyacinth blue jade and that was over misted with the Cape Cod Coral Starburst Spray. So if you just want to hang out for just a minute, I'll show you exactly how to go about achieving this particular look. Okay, so we're going to do the textured embossing. I have a piece here that says yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It's from Fab Scraps. So what I'm going to start off with is Versamark embossing ink and just put it all over my chipboard piece that I've already gessoed. I'm 
and sorry, I got to change cardboard here. Using the embossing powder, which is oh, I don't know if you can see that it is the hyacinth blue jade. Put it all over my piece. greatest job in the world but it's done we do three we're gonna do three coats three good coats so here we go okay I'm back things you learn when you're first learning how to do videos so Here's our piece. Go up the other way. <laughs> you can see it's been embossed three times now. Um, now we're going to start spraying to get the texture on it. And we're going to alternate between water and one of the mists, which is the can't see the Cape Coral Cod Lindy's. Okay, cool. okay. And we're going to dry in between. So the first thing we're going to start with is the water. We're just going to mist the piece with water. <clears throat> and heat set. things I should mention here is you really don't want to hold your gut your heat gun too close to your piece because it's going to move the embossing powder around and that's not what we want we want it to stay put so the next one I'm going to use is the Cape Coral Cod let me shake it up here get all that mica powder and we're going to mist Just wanting to dry the water and the uh, Starburst spray on top of the embossing powder. And I know you can't see it from here, but it does change the color <clears throat> a little bit. spray again. up so I can show you ah it's a little hot I don't know if you can see that or not but mm, not really the color has changed and you are starting to get a little bit of texture on it see if I shut off the light. Nope. 
that didn't help. All right, let's keep going. Now we're gonna mist with water. And that's gonna move around your starburst sprays, and that's okay. right over here it's bubbling out <clears throat> and that's okay too starting to get some texture. that the lighter colors of mists tend to give you better texture than the darker colors and I'm not sure why that is but <clears throat> we're gonna go one more time with the starburst spray by the way, this works only with the Starbursts. It won't work with the Flat Fabios because you need the mica to activate it. if I can put it on black paper and give you a better shot. 